Hello everybody, this is Junebug coming at you again. Okay, people's been bugging me about derivatives or differentiation rules, etc, etc. So basically I created this video and I'll also provide uh, links to other helpful resources on this. Okay, um, I want to explain this in simple plain English, but the first thing we have to do is this. This particular formula you have to memorize. Um, you know, if function x is x to the k power, then uh, the, oh gosh, I forgot what this is called now, the function prime or whatever, you bring this k down in front of the x and you minus 1. So let's say it's x to the 2 power or x squared. So you bring this down so it becomes 2x and then 2 minus 1 is 1, right? So it becomes 2x. E of x, E of x, they're going to say E. It'll show in the textbook. And then the lateral natural log of x becomes 1 over x, sine x becomes cosine x, and cosine x becomes minus sine x. Okay, you just have to memorize this. Uh, there's no way around it, unfortunately. So please at least memorize this. Um, this is easy to remember. This is easy to remember. These two I get confused even myself. Okay, now let's go look at the product rule. Um, the product rule can be looked at this way, right? F times uh, F prime times G prime. So what they say is you multiply F prime times G plus F times G prime. So that's kind of confusing. Now, there's another way to do this. Okay, you know how they do this. U times dv over dx plus v times du over dx. So, don't let that throw you. Okay, so now they do this. So, to me, this is even more confusing what this really means. Or some textbooks will say this, v times so they'll have this in the front and this in the back. So they have v times d of f over d of h plus u times d of g over d of h. So d of x, d of h, whether they say df, dv, it's basically all the same thing. Uh, what you want to do is f prime, you make f prime u and you make g prime v. That's it. And then the d of v and d of u is just since this is a V, it's G, and then D of U would be F. So what you're doing is you're multiplying the F prime by the opposite. So if F prime is U, then you're multiplying it by the G, right? You see that? F prime equals U, and then DV would just equal V. So let's even simplify this. Okay, so if we look at this... Um, the first thing you want to do is ignore the denominators, okay? Just pretend they don't exist. Now, what you want to do is, um, another way to look at this is, if this u is f prime, all it means is that you have to find, we, we have to go back here. So, if f, f of x equals this, then f of prime equals this. All you have to do is just uh, find the derivative of u, okay? And then you leave the g alone. So as you can see, you have to multiply f prime times g. So you find the derivative here, and you leave this alone as is. And then here, it's the same thing with uh, g prime. You find the derivative, and then multiply it by the f, okay? So you leave that alone. So let's uh, let me type a simpler way to put this okay so to simplify it's just you just get f prime right so f prime you find the derivative and multiply by g leave it alone t plus g prime times f you leave that alone so this is probably the best way to put it um, as you can see on this page they kinda of put it simply here so what it basically means is find the derivative, then the second one, leave it alone, find the derivative of g, and leave this alone. So, um, let's look at this example, x squared times sine x, okay? So, 
Now the f prime, if f, the function of x equals x squared, if we go to the rules again, you bring the 2 down in front of the x, so that's 2, 2 minus 1 equals 1, right? So it will become 2x. And since g, we're going to label as v, g equals sine x, you leave that alone, right? So that this becomes 2x times sine x, okay? Now, number 2, we have uh, v. So v, we have sine x as v, right? So sine x, if we look here, sine x becomes cosine x. So cosine x times, what is du? du, or the function of f equals x squared, right? So since this is a second um, thing, you leave this alone, right? Just as uh, we left sine x alone here, we leave the x squared alone here. So this answer would become 2x sine x plus x squared cosine x. I know it came out cosine x, x squared, but let's make it neat. So this would be the answer. So on the show notes and descriptions, I provided a Wikipedia link and a resource where you can have some practice problems for these. And the next video I'll load up will be the division or the quotient rule for the derivatives. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Thank you and happy studying.